So we do need to get that 5x on the other side of the equation to make it a actual quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and subtract 5x from both sides. And yes, I am putting it in between there on purpose. So now we've got a x squared minus 5x <coughs> minus 13 equals 0. And again, our a value here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. So a is 1. B is this negative 5, the coefficient of x. And C, in this case, is the constant, negative 13. All right. So let's go ahead and replace the b's. Uh, by the way, I'm only replacing the b's first, just because it's in my head it's kind of the first value there. So, b is a negative 5. In other words, you don't have to replace a b first. You can start with a if you want. But I'm doing a second. So, a, which is a 1. Some of you wouldn't even put that there, right? And that's okay. And then c will replace with this negative 13. So, this ends up being a positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times a negative 13 would be a negative 52 and that is all over 2 so just continuing on with this we got x x equals a 5 plus or minus the square root, because that becomes plus now, is a 77. And that's all over 2. As far as I can tell, even if we split this up, it can't be simplified any further. So we're going to stop there.